flying on an airplane, or diving underwater, walking in a cold winter, or enjoying the summer heat. These are just some of the real-world facts about integers. So what are integers? Integers are the set of numbers consisting of whole numbers and its opposites. Remember that the set of whole numbers starts at zero, followed by the counting numbers, and the opposites, we just put a dash beside it. So let's locate integers on the number line. If zero is here, where is five? You're right, five is here. How about negative two? Very nice, negative 2 is here. How about negative 6? Correct, it's here. How about 1? Good, obviously it's here. 7. Good job, very easy, right? Always remember that zero is the reference point, and zero is neither positive nor negative. Now, the numbers to the right of zero are called positive integers, to the left are negative integers. Integer going to the right is increasing. On the other hand, going to the left is decreasing. Here are some of the integer relationships. Pause the video to check it out. Now, let's arrange these integers from lowest to highest, which comes first. Negative 3, negative 2, 0, and 1. Try this one. Arrange the integers from lowest to highest. Which comes first? Negative 7, negative 5, negative 1, 0, 4, and 6. Now, what are the real life examples of integers? Losing weight, gaining weight. Diving the deep sea, flying above the clouds. Going upstairs, going downstairs. And many more. But how to write these examples as integers? A weight gain of 10 kilograms can be written as an integer. Positive 10. Diving a depth of 8 meters can be written as an integer, negative 8. 5 steps down the stairs can be written as an integer, negative 5. Earning 250 pesos can be written as an integer, positive 250. 3 degrees Celsius below zero can be written as an integer, negative 3. 4 mm of rain above normal can be written as an integer, positive 4. So the words going up, above, earn, increase, gain can be used to represent positive integers. In contrary, going down, below, depth, decrease, loss, can be used to represent negative integers. Alright, that's all. So whenever you walk, or doing your daily routines, driving your car, or busy counting your money, Integers are everywhere. Be 
because in here we always consider what matters so if you want more interesting videos subscribe for more